A logo, National Park Service. Text, UB Isak, University of Hawaii. Claudia Thompson, University of Hawaii. Hannah White, Assumption College. Coral reefs are very effective for absorbing elements coming from the ocean. They absorb waves' energy and contribute to environmental protection through the reduction of coastal erosion. Coral reefs also reduce the damage in case of storms, hurricanes, and in some way, the energy of tsunamis. In doing so, they protect both ecosystems located between the reefs and coast, such as seagrass and lagoon, for example, and human settlements located by the sea. Even though they cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they support 25% of all marine animals, from thousands of fish species to sponges to marine mammals. Millions of people around the world depend on coral reefs for food, protection, and employment. Coral reefs are fragile and sensitive to changes in water quality and temperature. Stressors to coral reefs are rising water temperatures. Corals thrive in relatively warm water, but when water temperatures rise too high, the zooxanthellae are forced to leave. Since these algae give the corals color, when they leave, the coral becomes white, appearing bleached. This coral bleaching can cause the reef to die. Coral reef ecosystems support an abundance of species, but overfishing can deplete these populations and affect the entire ecosystem. Text, in summer 2018, through Pacific Internship Program for Exploring Science, three Pacific Island women worked with the national parks in Guam, Hawaii, and American Samoa. These undergraduate students will share their experiences and perspectives. Environmental Studies ma certificate ng Pacific Island Studies. My project while working under the National Park was to monitor Hawaiian monk seals and to use this information to educate and raise awareness of this critically endangered species in the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaiian monk seals are native to the Hawaiian Islands and found nowhere else in the world. They spend most of their time at sea, but come ashore and rest on beaches and care for their pups. Sandy, protected beaches surrounded by shallow waters are preferred when pupping. Once the pup has been born, the mother will not eat for six weeks as it would care for her pup. They use the water surrounding Kalapapa Peninsula and they also use coral beds as foraging habitat. Pups depend to a large proportion of food taken directly from the reef waters. Shifts in ecosystem productivity caused by global climate change also contributed to their food limitations. Talo Falawa, Aloe Noa o Elizabeth Claudia Thompson, Matisama Latin Nuo Matanofi o Amerika Samo, Malin Nuo May Mo o Alao. Currently, second year student at the University of Hawaii Amano, majoring in marine biology. My project for the internship was focused mainly on the bubble algae outbreak in Ofu. And the key focus of that project was to increase awareness of the impact of excessive nutrient input in the waters, like from using fertilizers, like at the plantations, you know, on your crops. We also focus on controlling the algal bloom, which will allow the coral colonies to recover from the damage that was inflicted by the bubble algae, um, and resulting in a high percentage of healthy and diverse coral reef ecosystem in park waters, which provide habitat for fishes, endangered sea turtles, and other marine organisms. Hello, my name is Hannah White. I'm from the village of Tamaning on the island of Guam, and I'm currently going to my third year at Assumption College in Massachusetts, studying English, writing mass communications. Growing up, I spent a lot of time at the National Park back home in Guam. My role was really more taking that research and taking all the knowledge that they gave me and giving it back to the public. I think that's really an important part of conservation, that education aspect. Coral reefs across the globe have been facing challenges such as coral bleaching, pollution, overfishing, coral diseases, crown of thorns. With those variables and the direct and indirect impacts of climate change, the coral reefs will likely undergo a phase shift. Sometimes snorkelers or divers stand on the coral or grab it or feed the reef fish when they really shouldn't or they just don't know proper reef etiquette and how to enjoy being in the reef um, but enjoy it responsibly. Unfortunately, many coral reefs around the world are now in quite poor condition, and many are declining. 
it would be one thing if the coral reef only had to face one of these challenges, but because there are all these different threats um, coming at it at all different sides, it really makes it difficult. With all these threats that we are facing, we need to find a way that we can continue to have these resources into the future. While Palau may be a small island nation, we are a large ocean state and conservation is at the heart of our culture. In December 2017, Palau created the world's first conservation pledge, stamped in visitors' passport. These joint efforts include better monitoring and protection of Palau's coral reef ecosystems. One thing I know for sure they're doing is um, spreading awareness through educational programs. Their sole purpose is to educate the community, the public, about the importance of um, the ocean, including the coral reefs. We also recently passed a plastic bag ban into law, which both helps the reef and the land um, directly. So it reduces our litter, reduces our single-use plastics. All in all, it's just good for the earth. We rely on our environment to survive, and if our beautiful coral reefs are lost, we will be the last generation to enjoy both their beauty and life-sustaining biodiversity. That really makes me sad that someday, maybe my kids or my grandkids won't even know what a coral looks like, or they've never really experienced what it's like to be floating out there and seeing all that life. Protect reef by using reef-friendly sun protection. Limit single-use plastics. Don't touch the corals. Fish in the freezer can't breed. Take only what you need. So what are you waiting for? There's no time to lose. The text, Go Out and Make a Difference, appears with a smiley face. Credits, directed by, screenplay by, and produced by Yubi Isaac. This project was funded by NPS through the Hawaii Pacific Island Cooperative Ecosystem Studies Unit in partnership with the Pacific Internship Programs for Exploring Science at the University of Hawaii at Hilo. Thank you Kalupapa National Historical Park, National Park of American Samoa, and War in the Pacific National Historical Park. More credits roll. Thank you for watching.